And speaking of quickly, Brandon Peters getting the offense up and firing again. Mike Epstein and the ball is loose on the second play from scrimmage. Illinois coughs it up and Noah Burks, the linebacker, jumps on it for Wisconsin. High formation on third and one, but Burks wants to throw it. He's going for the end zone, caught, touchdown. And Roderick Perry, the FCS All-American transfer, looking for big things out of him. Meanwhile, Graham Mertz getting taken down in the backfield for a big loss of seven yards. And he's going to the air here. Pocket collapses, though. The red seat parts. He says, I'm going to run this. And run it, he does. All the way out near midfield. Thought it was him again. You mentioned the seven force fumbles he had last year to lead the nation. Not that time, though. Just a shoot. Third and three. Over the middle and caught. Danny Davis, his first catch. 300 pounder, but commits the penalty and that sets up this. Off the play action, Graham Mertz is gonna tuck and run. He's got some good speed and easily picks up the first down on a gain of 13, stepping out at the 20. 14th play on this drive. Play fake, wide open, there you go. Touchdown, it is Jake Ferguson. And now starting this drive off with a Peters run. Both quarterbacks showing their legs. Peters again this time getting into Wisconsin territory. Isaiah Williams coming in for his second snap at quarterback. And he hands it off. And it's Epstein. Epstein's first good run of the night. Remember, he had the fumble on the second play from scrimmage. Getting downhill and really stifling this ground game for Wisconsin. So now they'll go to the air. And a nice little move, stretching. Now that the football is lost by Jake Ferguson. Illinois says they have it. And they're carrying it out of the pile towards the end zone. That's Tariq Barnes. The whistle never blew. It's an Illinois touchdown. Being very careful with the football, making smart choices. Has two touchdown passes on those 11 completions. Trying to make it 12 for 12. He drops that right in the breadbasket of Jake Ferguson. What a beauty! And Mertz is out there as the day one starter. And he's going for the end zone again! And it's caught again by Jake Ferguson! Executive completions. Now Brandon Peters will try to answer, but he's dragged down to the ground. Nick Herbig. All kinds of time, he's going deep! And it's caught at the 10 and into the end zone, Danny Davis! And it's going to be Peters keeping it off the fake to Epstein, so he has been the running game. Both USC transfers, Josh and Daniel, the matter Bay Bay. Peters rolling to the right, throwing on the run. And is it hauled in? Yes. And he's going to use that right arm and complete it for a first down to keep the drive going. And it is Epstein this time. A chilly 32-degree night in Madison. Third and seven. Mertz looking for Kendrick Pryor, and he's got him. First down. And they give it to the first man through. John Chanel, and Chanel is in. They mentally sharp and take those reps. Garendo, good space. And that Wisconsin running game. All the way down, every single play. Run, 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 run. And this time they'll pass it, and look who is wide open. Jake Ferguson. And now Williams, who's back out there in relief of Peters. Throwing an interception. Titus Toller, the safety. And able to hang on to it as he's dragged out around the 15. That's something that you'll use as teach tape. Is that stand right there inside the five-yard line. Making him kick a field goal. Colin Lars boots it through. A good job on the hold, by the way, from Connor Schlichting. So the Wisconsin defense pitches a shutout. 
And the Badgers, the 14th ranked team in the land, they cruise to a 45-7 victory in the Big Ten opener.